This show is based on Herman Melville's classic novel, Moby Dick, following the struggle of a whaling crew and their captain who's driven slowly into madness. And he's uh, very focused. He does not uh, deviate from his, uh, his sort of mad, uh, demonic quest to, uh, to wreak havoc, havoc upon that whale that he considers pure evil. This story of Moby Dick has been condensed into an operatic adaptation. It was a challenge because the book is such an iconic American novel. And, and how are we going to, how is that going to be presented physically? And also what, what elements of the story were we going to bring, bring to bear in the opera? Certain decisions had to be made that differ from the book, like setting the entire opera at sea. I think it's, it's almost Shakespearean in the heights that it goes to and in the language. And in, you know, it, it is basically the story of one man railing against the universe. Moby Dick is a co-production between the Calgary Opera and affiliates in Dallas, San Francisco, San Diego and South Australia. The show has garnered critical acclaim. Ben Hepner, who plays the captain, says this performance was physically demanding, especially performing with a peg leg for the whole show. There's a point at which the set takes from a very gentle sort of a rake uh, to a, a vertical position, so it starts to go, it starts to go vertical quite quickly. And I have, I have one entrance where I'm a little bit up in there, or two places, two times, when I'm in that area. And that's very difficult for me. You can catch Moby Dick at the Jubilee Auditorium for limited time only. For Shaw TV, I'm Lisa Olansky.